Hello everyone, this is a presentation taken from the Sixth Form Open Evening, which was a few weeks ago now, and the presentation is about helping you and your Year 11 child to make informed choices for Year 12. My name is Miss Merrick, I'm Assistant Head Teacher and Head of Key Stage 5. We're very proud of our school and we are really looking forward to our new building. Unfortunately, the new building isn't up and running at the moment, but we're looking forward to it being ready by February, definitely by March. So that will be ready to have a look at and we'll be ready for our new Year 12 cohort. So something very exciting to look forward to. This presentation will help you make informed choices. I will be talking a bit about our curriculum model at Tunbridge Wells Grammar School for Boys. I'll be talking about our culture and ethos, student experiences, future pathways and the admissions process. So the curriculum at the Boys Grammar School. At this school, we offer A-levels, which is on your right-hand side there in the yellow. There are other pathways for post-16 students. We have apprenticeships, further GCSEs, vocational courses and the International Baccalaureate. We do not offer the International Baccalaureate or vocational courses. We do offer support if your son or daughter needs to retake maths or English and we do offer support for apprenticeships. We have uh, careers advisors that will help with that as well as some very experienced staff. So our A-levels, we recommend that all students have three A-level subjects. Um, three A-level subjects, including the extended project, if they choose to do the ex extended project, and I'll explain that later. Sometimes a student, especially if they are high achieving, um, will opt to do four A-level uh, subjects, but this is very unusual. We firmly believe that every student is far better off studying for three A-level subjects and getting the highest mark possible in all three of those subjects rather than doing four subjects and, and probably, possibly getting slighter lower uh, grades. Um, if you are interested in studying maths, you can do four subjects because one of those could be further maths to go along with that maths subject. So our curriculum timetable looks like this. We have your three A-levels, all at 20% of your timetable. Enrichment is 8% and private study there in the yellow 32%. Now this is a very strange experience for many students um, attending year 12 because the private study periods are so vast and it's so much time. Um, it is advisable to all students that they very quickly realise that these are not free periods, these are study periods. And the reason that we um, allow so much time for the private study periods is again that, that clear commitment from us to your student, to our students, that we are really, really aiming for those three A-levels to be the highest grade. Um, so that only comes with wider reading, time for reflection, time for homework and private study time. We're really proud that we offer 25 A-levels here and here they are. But let me talk to you now about sixth form life, culture and ethos. Here are some comments that students have made. Please have a little read through. Mm -hmm. 
you'll notice words like supportive, friendly, challenging, learning, and a real sense of community. And a few more quotes. So the transition to sixth form is a huge deal for students. So it's really right that you make the right choice and it is a well-informed choice. We really encourage our year 12 and 13 to be resilient, reflective, to become very independent. We also encourage focus and organisation. We encourage wider reading and reading for pleasure and also encourage that wider learning and socialisation. So it's really about team building. It's about having fun and being successful. We use uh, the A-level mindset, so we're really focused on what your vision is. Um, how you can put effort into fulfilling that vision and the systems, practice and attitude that needs to be in place to get our young people to the places they want to be at the end of year 13. So the A-level mindset um, is built around teaching within the classroom, but it's also about build, building resilience and intrapersonal skills. So we have a really extensive PSHE programme and tutor programme. This revolves around personal development, learning power, future goals and students' place in the community and our place in the community. So this is about all round excellence and future pathways. We're very pleased that year on year we have many students going to universities across the world and a different uh, variety of universities as well. Here's just some of them. I'm sure if you're interested um, you cannot subject leaders <coughs> to send you last year's destination results. But it's really important to choose the right pathway. Please make sure that you understand and look into the fact that some courses have specific requirements. Some courses may expect an A-level to be completed in that specific subject, so please take care when you're looking at chemistry, physics, MFL, history, geography, music and art in particular. Some courses require maths or science. It's really important that you start to have a look at UCAS websites and asking questions about possible future pathways. Please don't worry too much about facilitating subjects. Some courses do require one or two facilitating subjects and that will be on their websites. But the rule of thumb is that you are able to achieve the highest grade possible and that will really that's that that's the one guarantee into a russell group university if that's where you want to go it's important to consider which subjects you think you will achieve high grades in and it's also important to think about the the subjects that you enjoy Normally, if you're happy and you're well supported, which you will be, you will be successful. So there is a wide range of subjects. You can email subject leaders. Please do that if you have any questions. Think about the working week. Think about that balance and how that might look over the working week. 
think about a balance as in academic, totally academic, or, you know, a mixture of academic and not so academic. So think about how that will look for the next two years for you. I think the last bullet point now, really want to emphasise that one. Choose your courses for passion, potential and balance and to achieve the highest grade possible. Do not choose because that's the trendiest subjects. So don't listen to the press. Please don't listen to your peers because the idea here is that you look after yourself and your future. And sorry, parents, please don't listen to your parents. This is the next two years of your studying. Um, you need to be happy and confident and you need to choose wisely, please. So our admission form will be available to download on Monday the 13th of December 2021. It will be on our school website page and it looks like this. And some dates for your diaries. Sixth form open evening was the 4th of November and thank you to everybody that attended. It was so nice to see you all. Our straw poll deadline is Monday the 29th of November. That's for our internal students. We have Year 11 Parents Evening on the 7th to 9th of December where you can discuss options, you can discuss suitability with your teachers. And actually, I do recommend that you do that. Six form applications open Monday the 13th of December and six form application deadline is Friday the 28th of January. Conditional offers of places issued to internal applicants um, that will be on the 28th of February and these will be posted to external applicants by the 28th of February. The deadline for acceptance of conditional offers is Friday the 11th of March. All applications this year are to be made directly to the school using the forms that will be published on the school website. And if you have any questions, please contact our school and they will be happy to help you or to pass you on. I hope you find this helpful and I look forward to seeing many, many of you in September. Good luck with your GCSEs, work hard and remember if you do have any questions please just ask. Take care everybody, bye bye.